Me did the yan yan touch you are, and maybe I'm discovered for you, Pacum Busia for Wagana. No, me used to tap tap send, tap tap send. No fee mobile money transfer. A year easy, a year convenient, a year fast, and sounds so you free. Won't you ashe? Me discover ye map pimp tap tap send. In TNA, also download the tap tap send app. No, ever mobile phone so free. Let's first take a come where Busia for Wagana for any na tap tap send. Papa no no. Okay, so I come your way in peace this afternoon. Um, I'm bringing you all the good tidings from Sammy Flex Studio here in Sotum. Some people call us Sotum Al Jazeera, but we are Sammy Flex TV, and that is what you should know. We are indeed entertainment. Today, I have just some few minutes to address something quickly, then we run away from here. So yesterday, when I dropped the video, was it yesterday or maybe some two days ago, when I dropped the video of some of our celebrities going so low by going to advertise or going to support brand lotteries or uh, that is the NLA I spoke about it interestingly I've seen that Shatawale has also seen interest or he's found interest in it and uh, last night he posted something about it and he said this afternoon he is going to address it the last time I checked my producers were telling me Shata was on his live on Facebook addressing the issue I'm yet to watch it when I watch it finally I'm sure this evening on uh, showbiz daily we will be addressing it as well. We will be discussing it with my pundit here on Samiflex TV. So subscribe to the show and uh, subscribe to the channel rather and wait for all that will be coming here on the channel. Now, I want to address something. I remember when Shatawale said, as an artist, because you are an independent artist here, he was talking as an independent artist. And therefore, he was advising every independent artist that because you are an independent artist and don't have enough money on you, when you are shooting your music videos, don't think you can shoot it like Jay-Z. Don't think you can shoot like Drake or the rest of the Western stars. Always make sure whatever production you are putting out is on your level or is at your level. Unfortunately, Many industry people did not see the wisdom in what Shatawale was saying. I remember when that issue came up, my boss at 3 Music, Baba Sadiq, and some people, uh, David Nikose and the rest of them, they did not take what Shatawale said lightly. They were all coming hard at him. Some of them, they really gave it up to him. Uh, they gave it to him online. It became a topical issue. And today, I'm going to show you why maybe at that time, Shatawale was suggesting that as an industry, if you are an independent artist, sometimes you do things according to your level. Now, Shata has a new video out. It is called Jailman. Remember when he was uh, incarcerated, or better when he was jailed, when uh, his issues with medical came up? They were sent to the, in, uh, not in some room, uh, the, I've forgotten the name, Grandpa. Uh, the maximum prisons, Ankafu, yes, that the Ankafu maximum prison. Remember, he was sent there. And interestingly, when he came out of jail, now the case is still in court though, he recorded a song called Jail Man. And in the song, he addressed most of the things that he witnessed or he experienced or better still, he observed whilst he was in prison for, I think, for five days or so. He wrote a song and addressed everything he witnessed or he saw in there. I think some months after the release of that song, he has a video, maybe a video released about some two or three days ago. And after watching the video, I felt like, okay, so maybe this is what Shatawale was talking about. You pardon me because I did not pay attention to who even directed the video. Maybe my um, editor will help me with the name uh, under there, who directed the video. And again, I was so happy with the kind of output 
the guy gave to that particular song. The video very engaging. The video so colorful. The video so powerful and exciting. They shot the video at the Forsyth Studio. The Forsyth Studio, they have a radio setup and they have a TV setup as well. So everything in the video was shot from that scene. From the radio studio setup and again the TV studio setup. The video was so colorful. And I'm not sure a video like that will cost a fortune. I'm not sure a video like that will cost a fortune. I'm not sure if you are an artist and you produce a content or a music video like that, you have done something that cannot be accepted on any level. Looking at the story that was told, looking at how the video was done, this can be accepted on any platform around the world. So to me, if the industry were to be very calm on the issue, maybe sat down to discuss it, we would all have come to the level that, okay, so it is not as if when you have it, you don't shoot it. Because Chatawale did not say everybody or nobody should go shoot any video above their um, capital level. He did not say that. If you have it, fine. You can go to whatever level you want. But if you don't have it and you think this is the level that you can get to, why don't you go ahead and do it to your level? Why don't you do go ahead and do it according to your strength? Why don't you go ahead and do it according to your resources? If you've not seen the video, I'm imploring you that after maybe watching this here on Sami Flex TV, you can also turn on to Shatawale's YouTube page and pay attention to the video. Watch it and if you don't like the video, come back to this channel and tell me that Sami Flex, I went to Shatawale's page on YouTube, I watched the video and I did not like it. You can go watch it and come back and give me that comment here. But if you go and you like it, come back again and tell me that, oh, Sammy, whatever you said on the Sammy Flex Speak segment on Sammy Flex TV, everything you said was on point and that you were right. Go and check the video, Jail Man. I'm not sure anybody can say the video is a bad video. Yes, I've checked the numbers. The numbers might not be that huge at the moment as of the last time I checked. As of the last time I checked, I think it was around 9,000 or so. I don't know how far the numbers are as I record this video. But all my interest is, I want you to know that sometimes if you are an artist, especially an independent artist, where everything, every penny you spend is coming from your account, just be a little wise. It is good to go beyond some levels. But do you have what it takes? The wise person is that guy who lives according to his or her earning. Everybody who lives like that is considered wise. But imagine maybe your earning is 5000 a month and you are living on a 10000 a month. How can you live such a lifestyle? You are always going to struggle. So what Shatawale said, this is a critical thing in what he did. As a matter of fact, here at Flex Entertainment, or better still here at Sami Flex TV, we have shot so many quality but very affordable music videos for so many artists. You can go check some of them out. Go online or even as you watch your television stations. Anytime you see a music video that starts with Flex Entertainment, you should know that that video is starting, uh, that video was directed and edited here by Sammy Flex TV. Our director, Digital Rasta, has been behind all these videos. You check. I believe you have been watching some of the local channels here in Ghana. Maybe YouTube, you've been watching some of the videos. Anytime you see Flex Entertainment in front of any video or starting any video, you should know that that production came from us here at Sami Flex TV. Same way, if you need something and you contact us, why not? Call us. Our number is on the screen any day. And we are going to give you a quality but an affordable music video. So why should the industry be mad? Why should the industry be angry? Why should the industry attack Shatawale? Because he said, if you are an artist, don't use every money you have in your wallet to shoot music videos. He was just putting out an advice. And I'm sure for a time that we are all expecting him to live by examples or to live by what he says, he's done it in the German video. Go and just check the video. You will love it. So colorful, so engaging. You know, the video is so engaging, very busy. Reverend Eskin of um, uh, YFM was featured in there alongside most of the guys who were uh, also in prison with him. Ganji, Deporty, uh, I think the rest of them. I might not remember all of them. They were all captured in the video one way or the other. So beautiful. So why can't we do it? We can do it. 
I'm sure what we are struggling to do rather is to take time to analyze some statement from some celebrities. Not only Shatawale, but from some celebrities. If you can take our time to analyze some of these statements, you know that when they say something, it is out of experience. It is out of their own volition. That is why they are saying what they are saying. As a matter of fact, whoever says something says it because of what he has experienced or because of what he knows. But until we put ourselves into their shoes to analyze the issues, we we'll always be fighting unnecessary fight. I've seen the video, I've loved it, and I'm endorsing and also um, advertising it to you that you can also go check out one of the freshest videos from the camp of SM Empire, that is Shatawale, and you'll love it. Check out the video, and when you come back, come and tell me what you think about it. My name is Sammy Flex. This has been the Sammy Flex Speaks segment, coming all the way from our Sotum studio here in, uh, uh, our Sammy Flex studio here in Sotum, I mean. And surely, anytime you want to do something, contact us, and you do it. Thanks to Digital Rasta, thanks to Richie Flex for making it happen. We meet again in the evening for Showbiz Daily. We are out of here.